Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Kata Studios. Today, we are going to learn how to add a WhatsApp button to your website. And before you start judging that you already know how to do that with WhatsApp Business Link. Mind you that WhatsApp Business Link only works for WhatsApp Business. So you can add a button if it is not WhatsApp Business. But in today's trick, I'm going to teach you a little bit advanced, not just that this works for both WhatsApp Business and for non-WhatsApp Business, but this actually triggers an automated message for the user so they don't need to stuttle around typing what they want to send to you. So this we can use in specific services, letting the user send a specific message based on that particular service. Let me show you exactly how that works. So we are here in Kata Studios website and I want to actually buy a service, a website service. So when we click on this, I need a website. Just watch closely what happens. When we continue on WhatsApp, watch over here. You see, the message is automatically created for the user. In case they want to add more, they can then add more. If not, all you need to do is to hit on send and the message is sent automatically. Hello, Kata Studios. I am coming from your website. I need a website. So very simple. This is how my other clients also contact me, making things very easy for them to do. I hope you get the point right now. Okay. So to do that is very simple. We are going to be doing that with a basic button. So we have a custom button at the end here. This is a custom button. We have a standard button and we have a, a basic plan, I mean. So in this basic plan, these are the products actually. We link this. And by the way, if you want to learn how to create a custom product like this for WooCommerce so people can add the product to cart and check out just custom like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be creating that tutorial very quickly. This is for Bobby's Media. I want to check this out. It's a new layout for the Bobby's Media services. And you can click on the service menu. You see the services for... Uh, different services as we have from here, Spotify, Shopify store, Shopify design, and then social media marketing. So they have the basic plan, standard plan, and the custom plan. The basic plan is just for the basic standard for the standard. And then the custom is the plan that you select what you want. And these plans have a price range, not a specific price like the other ones have. Enough of the debris. Let's get into work. So we are going to be using a basic button because we can't use the standard button because this is actually a an add to cart button as you can see from over here okay this is an add to cart button and we can use it because it, we can't customize it it's, it is a default button we call that a stock button we can only use it for one purpose adding a product to cart then we get a custom button which is the basic button we use we just have to uh, make it look as though it is the same button with the same font style with the same everything so users can contact then from here and by the way if a user click on this the existing button look at the function it poops out their form and user can fill in the form or actually decide to chat them through whatsapp which we also use this particular medium the particular style for now let's get back to that and we have to reconfigure this go back to here and by the way if you want to learn how to how to condition a button to enable a pop-up like that see the button as i click on the button it poops up that particular form for us to feel it's not like taking us to a contact form or trying to redirect us to places we don't know very simple everything happened in the website you want to learn how to do that also comment that in the comment section below now let's get back here and destroy what we have built here so we can build the new one which makes more sense so what we're going to do, we are going to cancel out this and this is where we're going to put in the form. Any link you're going to paste is going to be here and you're going to find that in any page builder you are using whatsoever page builder have a link field like this. We are going to pop in the link and do your thing. Now let's get into the most interesting part of this. Now you want to get this link. It's very simple. I'm not going to be dropping that in the comment section below or in the description of this video. I'm going to show you how to get to get to Qatar Studios website. Scroll down. And by the way, you want to buy a host. You can do that from here. I get uh, I get a commission for this. And also you get the ability to chat me and get one page builder uh, license to build for one year. Free one page builder license for one year. Whichever is your choice. So now all you need to do is to click, right click on this option and copy the link. Okay, right click on this, see WhatsApp chat, right click on it and do what? Copy the link. Once you do so, click on your home page, click on new and add new text documents. Just text document, don't name it, it doesn't matter. Open this and paste the link right in there. So we're going to paste the link here. Fine. So if you look at this link, you will notice uh, a pattern. Okay, you see, we have percentage 20, percentage 20, percentage 20, percentage 20, but all of them are not in the same width. Okay, so let me zoom closely so you can see what we are doing from here. So see the whole form and these are just the messages we received or the messages we sent over here. Hello, Kata Studios, I am coming from your website. I need a website. You see, 
Watch closely. Hello, Kata. I put that asterisk because asterisk on WhatsApp makes the text itself bold. So you can add that asterisk on text areas of, or word areas where you want to emphasize more on. I am coming from your website. I just yeah, need a design or a website design. Okay, so whatever. Now, the, the name of the WhatsApp link is not necessary. All you need here is the client's phone number. As you can see here, this is my phone number from here, my business phone number, by the way. You see, you, what you need to do is to copy the client. If it's a foreign client, add their country code. Make sure you do that. Very important. But even if you don't add their country code, if someone contacting them from their own country, they can assess them without the country code. But to do this internationally is, an, is important so that people can contact them anywhere around the world. So once you do that, it follows with a question mark, followed with text equals to the first word. Okay. You cannot add any uh, punctuation. You want to add full stop, comma, asterisk, anything. As long as it doesn't shift, make sure you don't do this. Okay? Once you space, you have broken the line and this link is a broken link. It won't work again. So this works for any phone number at all, as long as the phone number has WhatsApp. So you don't need to go in asking clients, provide me your link to your WhatsApp, not necessary anymore. And this makes it easier because WhatsApp link only direct the person to chat but this actually customizes a message for the person to actually reach out to the client based on what they want okay so here we have a uh, kata studios you put the name of the brand and put now let me explain this very quickly once you're done with the text equal and the first word the next things have to follow are the percentage so you don't need to bother about all of these parts what you need to plug in is when you copy this code plug in the first word here and then second word here you can clear the asterisk if this is not talking about your name. Is this not the name of the brand? Clear this out. It's not necessary, okay? Now, the next word, put it. Now, if you have more than the amount of word you have in this one, all you need to do is to copy the percentage from here. You copy it. Then you put uh, the word. You paste the, the the percentage. You, you also paste the page. If you want to put full stop, you put full stop here before you paste the percentage. Fine. You see, this is simply how to add this. So the separation, the word separation are by the percentage and 20, just add that as many times and inc increase the amount of uh, options you have from here. And then you can plug that in as a button. Now, there are use cases where I love to use this and I will tell you very quickly. Now, you have a product page like what we have from here and we have this product page separate. We have this product page Shopify. We have this product page to be Shopify store design. So to do this, all we need to do is to copy the Shopify or whatever we want from there. Go in here. We can say hello, uh, hello Kata Studios or hello Bobby's Media. I'm coming from your website. Your website. I need a. You plug it in here, Shopify. But this one you write Shopify. Then you put the percentage over here. You go over to the next percentage, design. Okay, then this one you have to clear it off or you write thank you and you add another percentage from there. You understand the point. Very simple and straightforward point. But make sure there is always a percentage and 20 at the end. So when you create this link for the client and with the client phone number, you copy the link. Let's copy that very quickly. Control A, we copy and we go over here for the custom and let's paste it to the last one. So from here, what you need to do is control V, paste it. That is just all. Now you pasted it, we click on publish. As soon as you published, we have to open this page. Let's open the Bobby's Media from over here. Okay, while it loads very fast, we are going to open that page. What's the name of that page? This page is social media marketing. Okay, click on option over here, click on services. You see social media, you now we add the marketing over here. So I have a little bit of slow network, but let's just manage that. Fine. So when we get to the custom now, we can now click on contact to pay. It will link us directly to continue on WhatsApp. When we click on continue, we will be popped in with that message. You see Shopify design spaced out. This should be capital letter, as you know, and we are good to go. So that's simply how to add a WhatsApp button. Now, talking about the use cases, you might have a store when a client asks to create a store uh, where they don't want it to be connected to 
uh, WooCommerce, they want people to contact them directly. Maybe they have about six products and they want people to contact them directly, possibly because that is a negotiation based kind of product. You can add these buttons as many as they are. Then make sure you put the name of the product itself as I did just now, each and every one of those products so that when they click on this button, it will let the client know exactly the products they are trying to deal with. Now, another form of this is the one that when a client click a button, it will pick the image and send both the image and the link to the client. And if you want to learn how that one works, let me know. I'm going to be giving you a very cool tutorial that will make you uh, understand how that works so that when you click, when a client click a, a product, it will not send them just the product name. It will also send them the product image so that the client also know how to do that. How to actually, the, 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 you as the person who is selling the service will actually know exactly what's going on there. But for now, let's enjoy this. If you want that, let me know in the comment section below. And by the way, this is Manuel from Qatar Studios. <laughs> this is just a brief tutorial. Enjoy the rest of your day.